Hello there. How are you today? I am fine. I have heeded your warnings about going to law school. I definitely know what I want to do now. I want to be an electrical engineer. Are you certifiably insane? Have you no human soul? Go back to law school immediately. I want to work for a big company like Google in Silicon Valley making over $150,000 a year. I heard you can get that salary only three years after graduating. Whatever you are smoking right now I can use to keep me awake at my desk. You will have to be the second coming of Albert Einstein with a master's from Caltech to get a job working for those companies in this economy. You will not make that salary because you have done absolutely jack crap but build a stupid robot that never worked in the first place for a senior project. But seriously, you will spend the next three years after graduation sending your resume to job boards, going to job fairs, and revising your resume 88 times, only because you did not have enough sense to get an internship while you were in school. I am diligent, and I am a fast learner. I have taken some math classes. Somewhere. And I have done well in those classes. Engineering math classes resemble encrypted. Secret military code from the planet Zebulon. If you can make it through all the preliminary algebra and trigonometry courses, including three levels of calculus, physics, Boolean algebra, and differential equations, you will be ready for Laplace and Z transforms. You will have the privilege of learning all about the dynamics and stability of a four-pole lumped element analysis, and be able to precisely plot the asymptotic damped response in your sleep. Wow, sounds exciting. Your job must be exciting. My job is unmitigated torture unlike anything you could ever comprehend. I'm renting a one-bedroom apartment somewhere, I believe it is in this state. My project manager punishes me with unrealistic deadlines so that he can have some way to make himself look important in the 400 status meetings we have each week. I have wasted many Saturdays poring over page after page of drawings attempting to find one of 200 diodes with the wrong reverse recovery spec. I have to leaf through parts catalogs that are thicker than two Dallas phone books to find the 1% 2.41 megam resistor in order to keep the circuit from burning the building down because the moron that wrote the spec dropped out of law school. I spend every breathing moment thinking about what could have been. Walks on the beach, breathing fresh air, being outside this building. If I did not have a picture of my mother at my desk I wouldn't recognize her. I believe that I will have some good luck in the job market. You will be the only female at every company you work for. It will make no difference, because after nine months you will look, act, and smell like Milton from office space. You will work in a big gray windowless box at the end of a cul-de-sac in a nondescript office park miles away from civilization. It will be in Dubuque, Iowa. You will be working for brain-dead walking protozoa that are eight times dumber than you, but make four times more money. You will design DC stepper motor controllers for a company that manufactures the signs that automatically rotate the breakfast and lunch menus in the McDonald's drive through I love gadgets. I may even invent something that will progress mankind. You will get no recognition for any of your assignments. This is not Boy Scouts. Do not expect a badge of honor for simply doing your job. The most you will ever get is a certificate of appreciation from King Coes or a plaque that will have your name misspelled on it. A doctor saves one life and gets a ticker tape parade. An engineer saves millions of lives and gets laid off. I will not allow myself to have a negative attitude. Engineering is not as hard as you say it is. Have you not heard a thing I said? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You will be overqualified for every job on earth that does not have engineer in the title. I believe electronics are the wave of the future. We need to become more advanced than our competitors in other nations. Electronics will rob you of your existential essence, just like it robbed me of my girlfriend. I know all there is to know about mirror image transconductance amplifiers with discrete current mirror buffers and cascode loaded impedance shifting follower stages with high bandwidth double pole Miller compensation, but I cannot remember my birthday. No need to worry about other countries. They are already here. You will be training someone with an Indian or Asian surname on the latest firmware application. Pretty soon you will be collecting checks for $300 a week. You have thoroughly convinced me that I have made the right decision. I am looking forward to becoming an engineer. 
My life is a perpetual nightmare that is stuck on repeat. I probably need to start paying a mortgage on my cubicle. My desk is in a windowless basement. My schematics and design documentation is covered in rat droppings. My tires are flat in the parking lot because the car hasn't moved in four months. I'm 20 pounds overweight from the dinners I get out of the vending machine. I'm diabetic, I have constant high blood pressure, and I have an enlarged prostate. I have blood in my caffeine stream. I'm only 36 years old. Please someone help me.